Major change at the top of Formula 1 is incoming as Stefano Domenicali gears up to take over from Chase Carey as Formula 1's new CEO. Let's get started. Domenicali is set to become only the third CEO of F1 in its 70-year history following Carey and long-serving chief Bernie Eccleston and will take over the reins by the end of the year. While there has been no official announcement from F1 yet regarding Domenicali's appointment, plans are afoot for the Italian's arrival that will surely mark some change for the pinnacle of motorsport. Stefano Domenicali has enjoyed a career in motorsport spanning close to 30 years working for some of the biggest brands in the automotive industry. He spent a lot of time at the Autodromo Enzo Edino Ferrari circuit that hosted the San Marino Grand Prix. After spending much of his childhood at the track, Domenicali went to work at both Imola and Mugello before graduating from the University of Bologna and swiftly sending a CV to Ferrari. Domenicali enjoyed a long career in F1 with Ferrari, playing a crucial role in one of the most dominant team performances in motorsport history. Domenicali worked his way up the ranks at Ferrari after initially joining the Italian manufacturer in 1991 in the finance department. He worked in sponsorship liaison and served as head of personnel before becoming the sporting director of Ferrari's F1 team in 1998. He helped redefine the role of sporting director within teams, playing a new focus on human performance that has ramifications felt to this day in F1. It was an important role to play in Ferrari's streak of six consecutive constructor championships between 1999 and 2004 and Michael Schumacher's run of five drivers title between 2000 and 2004. In 2014, Domenicali resigned as Ferrari's team principal just three races into the season after a difficult start to the year that saw it slumped to fifth place in the constructor championship having struggled to adjust to the new V6 hybrid engine regulations. Domenicali did not spend long out of automotive industry following his departure from Ferrari, becoming the president of new business initiatives at Audi in November 2014. He then moved across the sister VW Group brand Lamborghini in 2016, becoming the CEO of the Italian manufacturer. He helped lead Lamborghini to huge growth and record sales figures through 2019. Alongside his role with Lamborghini, Domenicali served as the president of the FIA Single Seater Commission, helping to oversee a restructuring of the junior motorsport ladder. He revived the old Formula 2 category, which became the final stepping stone to Formula 1 in 2017, and also established a new international Formula 3 platform in 2019, making the path from karting to F1 much clearer for aspiring racers. He remained a popular and welcome figure in the F1 paddock and occasionally popped up on Channel 4's UK TV coverage as a pundit. News emerged on Tuesday night that Domenicali was poised to take over from Chase Carey. Domenicali is yet to agree and complete the deal to become F1 CEO, but it is considered to be a formality, allowing for preparations to be made for his arrival. He has long been on Liberty Media's radar as a potential leader for Formula 1. His record at Lamborghini proves his ability to help grow a brand which, combined with his evident knowledge and strength in motorsport, makes him an ideal figure to take over the running of Formula 1. A variety of other names have been linked to the role in the past including existing F1 team bosses Toto Wolff, Christian Horner and Zach Brown. But amid concerns from some teams about conflicts of interest, it was agreed that no figure could take up the role if they had worked for a team in the last two years. At 66, existing CEO Chase Carey was never expected to spend a large amount of time in the role, with his primary remit being to get the new Concord Agreement finalized and signed. With the commercial terms for the next five years being sewn up with the 10 teams last month, Carey can now pass the baton to Dominicali to oversee F1's future growth and progression. Carey has achieved a huge amount since taking over from Bernie Eccleston as CEO in January 2017 when Liberty Media's takeover of F1 was completed. He has played a role in securing a more sustainable future for F1 while the updated Concord Agreement and the new regulations on the horizon including a groundbreaking budget cap. 
Gary faced a huge number of big challenges through 2020 in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, but helped to secure a 17-race calendar that most thought unlikely earlier this year. He will remain involved in F1 beyond the end of the year, taking up a revised role when Dominic Kali becomes CEO ahead of the 2021 Formula 1 season. The greatest change is that F1 will again be run by a racing man in Dominicali. Kerry's track record in business and heading up major brands was deeply impressive, leading to his appointment in 2017. But he did not have the inside-out knowledge of F1 that Dominicali will bring to the table. Much of the groundwork for the major changes F1 will encounter in the next two years, such as the budget cap in 2021 and the new technical regulations in 2022, has already been laid. Dominicali will be tasked with overseeing their implementation and policing, as well as looking to continue F1's future expansion. The arrival of Dominicali means that three of the key figures from the Ferrari Dream Team from the early 2000s will now hold senior roles at the top of F1. John Todd has been FI president since 2009, while Ross Braun serves as F1's managing director of motorsports. However, Todd's mandate as FI president is set to come to an end in December 2021 and he has previously said he will not seek another term, something that is understood to be conditional to Dominicali's appointment. It will be left to Dominicali to work with the team already in place at F1 to continue the growth the series has enjoyed in recent years. Given his track record at Lamborghini and previous success at Ferrari, he appears to be a fitting appointment. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.